all, all across the country right now one thing all the 36 states has in common at the moment is the fact that no matter how rich you are there is no cash available is <laughs> it's such a sad truth but <laughs> that is the way it is like even if you have money in your bank account you want to collect cash you want to use it you, there's no cash and if POS people should give you the new notes, they will even charge you. I heard recently that even in Lagos, both the old and the new notes is now scarce. Like, even if you want to withdraw the old notes, they will still charge you 100 naira on one 1,000 naira. That is so sad. Like, people are really struggling these days. The hardship is, <laughs> has no bounds. <laughs> it seems as if it's had no, it has no end. And... At it is at the rate at which it's going, you know, people have been facing fuel scarcity for a couple of weeks and then added to the fact that there is no money, there is no cash on ground. No matter how rich you are, when you get to the ATM, you're only entitled to withdraw five thousand in some places, even in some places ten thousand naira, and that is the maximum that you're entitled to. And it's not been easy. A lot of Nigerians have been protesting in some states. And some have even taken it out on the president on his visit to Kano and some other northern, northern uh, states uh, as well. You know, they took it out on the president, stoning him. And the PDP has, you know, spinned this around to mean that Tinobu and Buhari has some beef going on, which I don't believe anyway. I just find it I just find it dishonest when these other political parties just you know spin stories which are not true just to make the other political party look bad. But before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other youtube viewers all around the world as well lastly leave your comments in the comment section without further ado let's delve right into the details of today's news the president last night said that the alleged fruitful attempt by the people's democratic party pdp to bring division between president Muhammadu buhari and the presidential candidate of an all progressive congress apc ashiwa jubola tinobu will not give victory to the main opposition party in the february 25 presidential election the presidency described the neg narrative by the pdp to the effect that president buhari was pelted with stones during his official visit to kano on monday was aimed at malign the president. This was contained in a statement signed by the senior special assistant to the president of media and publicity, Malang Malam Gaba Shewu. The statement reads, and I quote, we have seen fake reports of a stone pelting incident that took place in the Etero area of Kano on the day of the visit of, to, uh, of the visit to the city by President Muhammad Buhari on Monday, an incident, even if minor, that should stand condemned by all well-meaning citizens. Facts on ground has rendered by the law enforcement agencies speak of a clash between the local road transport authorities, the Kano Road Transport Authorities, Karota, and thugs hired by a yet to be identified group that took place when the president was being treated to a banquet at the government house well after he had finished his project commissioning the president was in the state to work on the development safety and security of the lives of common citizens and the happy thing about it was that the good people of Kano state were appreciative of him for the progress the state and the nation at large are making under him. The divisive rhetoric of an opposition in a fruitful attempt to mailing the image, the image, pardon me, of a president and the candidates of an all progressive Congress in the coming elections and its desperate wedge driving activities 
to cause a division between the party and the government is not what will give them victory. A so-called leading opposition party that controls 14 states going into elections with eight or nine of the states in tow to look inwards to see why their campaign is flagging and destined to fail. Their defeat is a foretell story by many discerning individuals. The stone pelting has seen from the video in the fight against the traffic police where innocent children sponsored by politicians and terrorist sympathizers. This is no place. There is no place for violence in a democracy. The PDP should use the opportunity of their electioneering to put their point of view in a democracy. When problems can be resolved through talks, there is no place for stone pelting, arson, and unruling behavior as we are witnessing in some in some of our campaigns. It is equally unhealthy for society and it becomes the duty of political and political, social and religious leaders to correctly inform the misled youngsters to shun the past of violence which is inimical to their own future. Lastly, is to say that the president has not lost his command and respect in Kano for those who hold the border closure against him. They must come to realize that the 60-70 integrated rice mills in the city today would not have been in place if he had followed the free-for-all smugg smuggling to continue. Well, we can, you know, criticize Buhari all day long, but the, the sad truth is that, you know, Buhari tried his best, unlike some other previous presidents that we've had. But when, you know, no matter how good the roads are in the country, no matter how the amenities, no matter how good the amenities are, if there, are, if there is insecurity in the land, if people do not feel secure, if people are always, you know, afraid for their lives and always like looking behind them to check if there is someone coming, you know, to kill or to arm them anytime, any time of the day, like it's usually undermines all the good things, you know, that that a particular government has done. This insecurity, you know, has, you know has just eroded all the good things that people should be talking about about buhari let's just put it that way because kudos to him uh, the number of projects that fashala has done in his ministry is so like he is just is what you know for people to give him accolades for because let's just say he's the most active um minister in nigeria so far that i've seen and you know he has really tried he has really tried his best but notwithstanding the insecurity issues is just you know undermining all their efforts and all so it's not as if buhari did not do his part he did but the insecurity problem gun, 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 gun. <laughs> that one on its own let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't i will see you in my next video bye for now